All right, so this is going to be my second time trying this Good Apple Foundation in the color Tan 078. So the first time I tried it, I liked it. Um, I put a little bit on and I was good to go. It definitely was a nice full coverage. Um, these are like the little marks, don't mind her. These are the little marks that I have right here. Mm, not so much here, but um, yeah, right here. So those are the marks that I have on my face that we're going to cover. Honestly, it's really going to look kind of like just how my face is now. It's going to look just like that. I have nothing on my face. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Cool. So the first time I used that, like I said, I loved it. The only thing is... I don't think it will be good for really hot weather. Like if you're gonna be sweating or doing anything active, I don't think that'll work out because I did a video shoot and it was extremely hot and my makeup was running. So I don't think it would be good for that. I'm definitely <laughs> gonna try it again when I have, um, when I go to the gym or if I have like a rehearsal or something like that, I'm gonna try it again. But yeah, so right now I'm putting on some SPF. 30. I'm going to I'm going to be a tad bit active today Lies, I'm going to be active today I'm going to be teaching today uh, I'm not going to be teaching anything super super crazy I'm kind of just going over some dance steps with my kids So I'm doing that as well as possibly As well as taking pictures for this today Just so you guys can see how it is in pictures as well and yeah, it's not crazy hot outside, so I'm just going to see how it holds up. You'll see it now. I'll come back at another another time. It's like what? Maybe 3 o'clock now? Last. Between 2 and 3 o'clock, I'll come back again maybe 2 or one more time and show you. So, boom. And now, I'm going to use... I hope I recorded the last one. I'm not sure, but I'm going to use a different type of brush this time. I'm going to use this brush to put on my foundation. And this is, look, the little bit that I used. That's it. So there's nothing on my brush. I'll do it in a different spot. I'll do it up here. See? Just did a little bit of dabs, and it only got at the top and the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that, but... And we gon' we gonna get my hair out the way. So y'all can see baby. That was four little tiny dabs. Alright, that didn't really do nothing. Let me not even Let me actually put it on there. Okay, it's actually ooh. It's actually on here now, so. Let me hold the camera up a little bit to the light. Boom. I feel like it's actually a little darker than my face and then it kind of sinks in. But let's do half. Now it's more than that. And look. It's covered. So this side has foundation and this side doesn't. And it looks like a nice full coverage so far. But let's see if it's long lasting. Let me put this little bit of dots on me. I don't know if I'm gonna be enough of this side, but let me see, let's see, let's spread it out. I legit only put just a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna put a little bit more. Don't fall on. There we go. There we go. Oh. I'm gonna freak. Boom. There we go. Honestly, being that I don't really have that much blemishes, thank the Lord, because. But being that I don't have that much blemishes on my face. I feel like it's definitely something I could just throw on that looks very lightweight. 
and it feels lightweight to be honest as of right now we gonna see but i would say if you're a person without a lot of blemishes and you want to wear this you can definitely wear it i'm not sure how it fits with people that have a lot of blemishes on their face like, I mean, to see, I'm not sure how it uh looks on their skin, like hiding a lot of the dark spots. And I literally only put a good one stroke, two stroke, three stroke, four type of thing. And I didn't even put a lot on it. So this is, don't mind my hair. <laughs> so this is the side. And this is the side. Um, I didn't put any down here. And this is blending really nice. Up here, you see the difference of right here and right here. And it looks really good. It's a really good blend. And secretly, a lot of times, um, I didn't always put foundation on my forehead. Because you couldn't always tell sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes it would be too high for all of that. But So... Um, I might just do, you know what? We're going to do a face. I'm going to do a face and boom. We're going to see how it acts with um, a little bit more makeup on my face as well. So my final thoughts for the three to four days that I wore it. I feel like I really like the coverage for what it gives. It's very lightweight and I don't have to put on a lot. But if I am in the hot sun, the heat is just rising, or if I'm going to take a dance class or I'm going to do some heavy working out, I would probably not run to this because it is going to run. The price point for this foundation is $38. For $38, I would not buy this, but I would get this if I just wasn't as active as I am usually. So I would definitely wear this on the days where I'm just going to be chilling and not doing too much. I feel like for that, it's very good. If you want to look like you don't really have on makeup and you have on something light, definitely get it. Yeah, I almost forgot, but this is my face. Um, I didn't really sweat much. Last. I did sweat a lot when I was doing some TikTok videos and I had the lights on me and it actually still stayed. It stayed on. It definitely stayed on. Um, I'm going to wear it again tomorrow because I didn't get to take a picture like I wanted to. So I'll do the same look again tomorrow. And I'm going to see. I have on my Kat Von D Good Apple makeup right now. Um, I didn't do nothing much but take pictures, but it was hot. And I know I already see some sweating increasing. But I'm going to ride my bike, which is a 20 18 to 20 minute ride and i'm gonna see how my makeup does it's somewhere between 75 and 80 degrees right now the wind is blowing a little bit so that's good but i'm gonna come back and my makeup i mean i'm gonna come back when i am done my ride so you guys can see how my makeup looks and how it lasts I'm back and this is how my face is looking. I did go like in a store real quick for like literally three minutes and I got a little cooled down, but this is how my face is looking. Don't mind my nails, I'm taking them off right now. I definitely thought that this was darker than my skin, but it's actually blending in pretty good. I definitely did good with picking this color. Good job, Shayna.